Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the President and the Council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, I would like to welcome each and every one of you to this important occasion to hand over medical equipment received as donations under the SLMA COVID Sahana Initiative. The SLMA COVID Sahana Initiative was established in May 2021 under the leadership of Dr. Mrs. Padma Gunaratna, the president of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. One of the prime objectives of this initiative is to raise funds to assist government hospitals to improve their medical facilities in order to provide optimum level of care for COVID-19 patients. Today, we are here to witness the first phase of handing over of medical equipment worth of 6 million rupees to 53 selected government hospitals island-wide. Ladies and gentlemen, without taking much time, I'd like to invite Dr. Mrs. Padma Gunaratna, President of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, to welcome the gathering and for opening remarks. Over to you, Madam President. Uh, thank you, Dinesh. Dr. Isridharan, DDG Planning, uh, Dr. Lucian Jai Surya and Dr. BJC Pereira, past presidents of this SLMA and other council members uh, and other past presidents who have joined uh, this occasion online, all donors of the SLMA COVID Sahana, both big and small, and all directors and other representatives of hospitals that would receive donations and all potential donors of the SLMA COVID Sahana, ladies and gentlemen. As it's known to many of us who have gathered here, as we all were together uh, at the time the COVID Sahana was born, not long ago, less than two months ago, actually um, just six months ago, six weeks ago, uh, on 24th May 2021, uh, we, uh, I mean, from that point up to now over these six weeks, we all were together uh, in witnessing the growing of the COVID Sahana Fund. We established COVID Sahana Fund with six objectives in mind. It, the initial objective or the main objective was to support healthcare institutions of the Ministry of Health providing uh, care for COVID-19 patients and also to support education to the public on prevention and management of COVID-19 and to support the national vaccination program and to provide a relief to healthcare workers affected by COVID-19 infection, to support capacity building of healthcare staff, I mean, from doctors, nurses, uh, public health inspector, inspectors, and all, in all the categories that are included, and also to provide financial assistance to children of families affected by COVID-19 uh, long-term. So these were the objectives that were there in our mind when we established uh, COVID Sahana six weeks ago. And at this point of time, as the president of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, I'm extremely happy that within such a short period that uh, we were able to make a substantial donation worth of six million, the equipment worth of six million to more than 50 hospitals across the country. Um, the, for this sort of uh, fairly uh, uh, task with uh, uh, this magnitude, uh, the credit of this has to be mostly with our donors. It's the commitment of generous donors that made it possible for us to do it today. But at the same time, I must thank the uh, tireless effort of my own team that who worked uh, sort of a, a, um, a, at a stretch, getting this organized in a way that it is worthy for hospitals. 
So if you consider Sri Lanka Medical Association, Sri Lanka Medical Association has representatives or the council of the SELEME has representatives from every province. So we inform our provincial representatives to send call the lists of needs from hospitals that are in their areas and those needs were tabulated well. And then we selected the items that we could afford to give. And based on that, I mean, it was sort of a tedious task to evaluate about more than 100 needs of about 100 hospitals. And then once we selected the equipments that we thought that we could afford to give, we inquired the hospitals back and uh, um, in, inquired them whether they are really in need of those equipments. And then once we got that reply, only that we decided to purchase these equipment items. So we know for certain that uh, what we have purchased and what we have, what we are going to donate today will not be idling in the hospitals, but would be in maximum use. So uh, as such, uh, we know for certain that these donations are going to be uh, of maximum use for all those hospitals. Uh, then with regard to collecting funds, the when Sri Lanka Medical Association made an appeal to the public for their support to raise funds to assist government hospitals in providing care for COVID-19 patients, the public response for this our, uh, request was remarkable and many philanthropists uh, across the country started contributed immensely towards the SLMA COVID Sahana. I must say that many contributed mainly because of the credibility that they are with Sri Lanka Medical Association. The response of the corporate sector for our request was incredible. Uh, also, there was many expatriates individually as well as as groups or the associations uh, among the donors to the SLMA COVID Sahana. And uh, at this uh, point of time, I uh, must appreciate the contributions made by the Council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, as well as the past presidents of the Sri Lanka Medical Association as well. Uh, I must say that this is not the first donation that uh, we are doing. Uh, uh, we are making uh, from the SLMA COVID Sahana. The very first donation of the SLMA COVID Sahana was made at the day that we launched. That again was uh, worth of 360,000 uh, rupees. We made that donation to District Hospital Martale. Uh, and uh, that if we uh, uh, take the uh, equipment that we would be donating today that would include uh, the consignment of medical equipment will consist of 45 high flow oxygen nasal delivery, delivery cannulae, 570 non rebreathing oxygen masks with reservoir bags, 1010 viral filters, viral and bacterial filters, 230 adjustable venturi devices. 218 pulse oximeters of the finger type and 110 digital blood pressure apparatus and 32 infusion pumps. And once we quoted estimates for these equipments that were selected, uh, we, uh, I, I must say, I must thank the support that we got from the uh, Chamber of, of Pharmaceutical Industry to get the most reasonable cost for uh, purchase of this equipment. The, I think we, as from the Sri Lanka Medical Association, we feel as the possibility for the next few is uh, fairly high, we feel our equipment would strengthen the hospital system in getting ready for the next wave because that as at present, that we are in a sort of a calm uh, 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 plateau of number of cases so that this gives us time for us to vaccinate people as much as possible and also to strengthen the, uh, the hospital settings, the healthcare settings, uh, if in case that uh, uh, we come across another wave. So the, uh, 
uh, other than, as I told you, other than uh, supporting hospitals, our objectives included uh, supporting the children in long term, supporting children uh, or uh, the uh, uh, less privileged children uh, from the families uh, that, uh, are, that were affected uh, by COVID-19. So based on that objective, we have we wrote to the uh, department, some of the uh, department, and we have already got uh, two children uh, nominated uh, for scholarships to be given by the SLMA COVID Sahana uh, to continue with their uh, education. So that also uh, awarding uh, scholarships to two children who lost uh, their mother. Uh, owing to COVID infection also will be awarded uh, today during this uh, occasion. The, um, so, so I must say that I'm uh, very grateful to Dr. Sridharan, uh, DDG Planning for representing DG, uh, Director General of Health Services, Dr. Asila Gunawadhana at a very short notice. I mean, Dr. Asila Gunawadhana uh, was supposed to grace this occasion. And uh, as there was another urgent meeting, he had to cancel his uh, presence here at the last moment. And uh, I'm uh, glad that Dr. Sridharan agreed to represent uh, uh, DG of Health Services and to be the chief guest of this occasion. And I welcome most for this occasion. And also I welcome all uh, others that who accepted our invitation and uh, decided to spend time with us uh, within this hour uh, with this uh, worthy um, activity. Um, and um, particularly, I must mention the name of Ms. Kasturi Chellaraja Wilson, President, Sri Lanka Chamber of Pharmaceutical Industry, and Mr. S. Prabhu, President, Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices Industry, uh, I mean, as leading supporters of COVID fund, and Mr. Palitha Jayathilaka, Country Operation Manager, uh, Servia International Sri Lanka, and Mr. Dinesh Atapattu, Chief Operating Officer, Morrison PLC, uh, for their contribution to strengthen the SLMA COVID Sahana uh, and uh, for supporting to make today's event a great success. Uh, so all what we have done today and that what we would be distributing is the outcome of a teamwork. Uh, in addition to the donors and we from the Council of the SLMA, there were many others who were behind the screen getting many things organized over the whole of yesterday and attending uh, to make everything uh, in a very uh, presentable manner. So it's the SLMA staff, including uh, Dr. Sumitra, the Sera, the secretary, and uh, uh, Dr. Sachin, uh, the pre-intern and the other staff. So I uh, appreciate their commitment towards this SLMA COVID Sahana. Um, at the same time, uh, the doctors, I mean, uh, it had actually been, I think the training in the Ministry of Health and all the directors, administrators of all these hospitals that when we inquired, no one considered that as their, I mean, duty, but all were so much committed to, uh, it was to improve whatever the services that uh, they were responsible to improve, they were committed to do that. So as we give the call, as we communicate with them, the response is very prompt. So uh, I appreciate them. Some uh, agree to uh, be uh, present here in person and there are others uh, who, are, who have joined online. So I appreciate the, uh, I mean, both categories very much for their commitment to improve the services that are being provided to patients at their individual centers. Um, uh, as uh, I may not get another opportunity, there's another council member that needs appreciation. That's uh, uh, Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka, Vice President of Sri Lanka Medical Association. From the day that he joined SLMA, he had been such an asset to Sri Lanka Medical Association. 
If not for Manilka's commitment and contribution, I don't think that this uh, would have been this much feasible. So uh, I uh, very much appreciate the commitment and for Manilka joining hand with me to make this uh, uh, national task a, a great success. Um, so let me uh, conclude my uh, uh, speech by uh, welcoming all of you for this very important meeting. And uh, as the president and the council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, uh, we wish to invite all well wishers to join hands with the SLMA in continuing its welfare activities towards the improvement of COVID care in Sri Lanka. We uh, ensure and guarantee that the funds raised by donations will be best used in achieving the objectives stated. Thank you. Madhya Prime Minister Nisa, Mama Suluva Singh, Singhaleng Machuni ke pya kata karna. Adhe api Sri Lanka COVID sahan hai. SLM me COVID sahan hai. Kena api Sri Lanka vaidya sangam me staapit aramudaling. Ape Rohal Valata, Miliana Hayek equipment, Pradane Kirime, me Utsava Avasta Vata, Pamini, Obasama, Piligano. Ape Ape Sri Lanka SLM, Covid Sahana Aramudala, Pihita Agena, Danata, Pihitua, Danata, Sumana, Hayai Kale. Ape Sri Lanka Vaidya Sangame Magging, Ape Rate, Puravasian Gen, SLM, Covid Sahana Aramudaleta, Ape Ape Rohalvela, Covid Rogin, Vinwin, Karana Seva, Pavadane Kirimata, Udau Kirimata, Ape Aramudaleta, Sahabagi Manalesa, Lankave, Puravasian Gen, Illu Avastavedi, Apita, Labunu Pratichare, Itamatma, Vadi, Ape Itamatma, Hilling. आगे करने में लंकाओं पुरासितन दानपतियन बहु वशेन इधर पात्री आप इतने श्रीलंका वाइद्य संगमी एसएलएम में कोविड सहाने की न में आरंभ दल टे दा एगो लंगे दाने दाने करांठ इधर पातुना ये मागिन थमाए आदर आप ही मिलियन हायक वाटिना में उपकारन आप ही एसएलएम में कोविड सहाने मागिंग आपे रोहाल फनास खातर के Tak perdana kerana tiada kelih. Apa mereka thora kat tempat ini? Badu apa itu mereka na rohal bola pada khati itu sedia mana bidih kan? Sri Lanka wajib sange mete mana betah hima katinisa. Apa ini rohal bolin? Oh rohal bola awasnya tawe mulin ma bimasa balala. Ini awasnya tawe itu anu. Apa ini ganne badu siallam budak pisal wasen ikat awasta karagina. Apa Sri Lanka चेंबर चेंबर ऑफ हार्मेसुटिकल इंडस्ट्री एके उदाविंग एके मिले पुलवांतनां अड्डू पहला विशाल बाडू तो गया थमाए आधे में आवस्था वेदी विशाल रोहाल प्रमाण एक विदाहरी में में बाडू पुड़ी बाडू नाटक ये वा सेरम रोगीन बालागे ने मट अत्यावश्य बाडू विधि है टा आपे वाइद्यवरुण है टी � Mana betul hemat tienno. Me aping dina badu, me wa itamatma itamatma rogin me honda te balaga ni mete. Atya waswa itamatma me wa badi awasatave hati te. Perujine te gani ni kene kagana. Api te kisima sakayak nhe. Api te me awasatave di me aramudala shakti mat kiri mete. Rathi dana peti angin men me. Api te thawat samagam vali labunu adar meyavastha vedi api age karanwa. E vagem langkhavim pita siti na aya saha langkhavim pita siti na sangmi dana langkhavim aage indala tina sangmi dana vali nud me aramudalat api te mudal barakri madar labunu aya vagem api Sri Lanka Vaidya Sangamiya Counseling saha hitapu sabapati varunge nud me aramudalat Apitnya, ada ramalan kini ke, apik meyawas tawedi, 
කියන්න ඕනා ඉතින් මේ අවස්ථාවේදී අපි දෙන ඉක්විප්මන්ට් ලිස්ට් එකක් අපි මේ සඳහන් කරා ඒකේ වටිනාකම මිලියන 6කට වැඩි අපි මීට අපි රාතුවත් මේ කොවිඩ් සහන වලින් ලක්ෂ 3ක මාරක වටිනා බඩු මාතලේ රෝහල්ට ලබා දුන්නා කියන එකත් මම මේ අවස්ථාවේදී කියන්න ඕනා අපේ ලං කොවිඩ් සහන අරමුදලේ තියෙන අරමුණු කල්පනා කළොත් එහෙම රෝහල් වල තියෙන පහසුකම් ප්‍රවර්ධනය කරනවාට අමතරව අපි සමාජයේ රෝ කොවිඩ් රෝගීන් රෝගය වලක්වා ගැනීම සහ රෝගය ගැන දැනුවත් කිරීමට කරන වැඩ කටයුතු කිරීම ඒ වගේම ඉන්නත් කරන ක්‍රියාදාමයට සපෝට් කිරීම ඒ වගේම සෞඛ්‍ය සේවකයන්ට කොවිඩ් නිසා වෙන පාඩු වලට උදව් කිරීම ඒ වගේම සෞඛ්‍ය සේවකයන්ගේ නිපුණතා ප්‍රවර්ධනය කිරීමට වැඩ කිරීම කියන මේ මේවත් අපේ අරමුණු වලට ආයත් ඊට අමතරව කොවිඩ් නිසා යම් කිසි පවුලක අඩු ආදායම් ලාභී පවුලක දෙමෞපියන්ගෙන් පවුලේ ආදායම උපයන එක්කිනා ට යම් කිසි හානියක් වුණොත් ඒක නිසා අභාග්‍ය සම්පන්න තත්ත්වයකට පවුල පත් වුණොත් ඒ දරුවන්ගේ අධ්‍යාපනයට අවශ්‍ය ශිෂ්‍යත්ව ලබා දීමත් අපගේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා වෛද්‍ය සංගමයේ කොවිඩ් සහන අරමුදලින් අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා ඒ අනුව අපි අද දින දරුවන් දෙදෙනෙකුට කළුතර සහ කොළඹ අඩු ආදායම් ලාභී පවුල් වල දරුවන් දෙදෙනෙකුට මේ අවස්ථාවේදී ශිෂ්‍යත්ව ලබා දීමට බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා මේ අවස්ථාවට අපිට සෞඛ්‍ය අධ්‍යක්ෂ ජෙනරාල් තුමා පැමිණීමට යුතුව තිබුණා ප්‍රධාන අමුත්තා විදිහට නමුත් ඉතාමත් සුළු දැනුම් දීමකින් ඒ මහත්මාට වෙනත් මීටිමකට යන්ඩ සිදු වෙච්ච හින්ද මේ අවස්ථාවේදී අපේ මේ උත්සවය වර්ණවත් කිරීමට මෙහි පැමිණි ඩොක් වෛද්‍ය ශ්‍රීධරන් නියෝජ්‍ය අධ්‍යක්ෂ ජෙනරාල් සැපයුම් මම මේ අවස්ථාවේදී ඉතාමත් ගෞරවයෙන් පිළිගන්නවා ඒ මහත්මා මේ අවස්ථාවේ අපිත් සමග සහභාගී වෙනවා මීට අමතරව අපිට මෙයට උදව් කරපු බොහෝ සමාගම් වල අය මේ අවස්ථාවේ ඉන්නවා මම මේ සියල්ලටම ස්තුතිවන්ත වෙනවා ඉතින් මම කියනවා අපි මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා වෛද්‍ය සංගමය මගින් මේ පවත්වාගෙන යන කොවිඩ් SLMA කොවිඩ් සහන කියන මේ අරමුදල ශක්තිමත් කිරීමට අපිට ලංකාවේ ඉන්න අනිකුත් ප්‍රධානපතීන්ට අපිත් සමග අත්වැල් බැඳ ගන්න මේකෙන් තවත් අපිට බොහෝ දේවල් ඉදිරියට කර ගැනීමට හැකියාව තියෙනවා අපිට රෝහල් වලට දිරි දිරි මත් ආකාරයට වැඩ කිරීමට වැඩි සේවාවක් රෝගීන්ට සැපයීම පුල් සැපයීමට අවශ්‍ය පහසුකම් සැපයීමට මේ මගින් අපිට අවස්ථාව ලැබිලා තියෙනවා අපි ශ්‍රී ලංකා වෛද්‍ය සංගමය විදිහට සහතික වෙනවා මේ සියලුම අපිට ලැබෙන මේ SLMA කොවිඩ් සහන අරමුදලට ලැබෙන සියලුම ආධාර ඒ අනුමත අරමුණු කරා පමණක් යොදන බවට අපි අපි ලංකාවේ පුරවැසියන්ට සියල්ලටම අපි වෛද්‍ය සංගමය විදිහට සහතික වෙනවා අසාසිටීම සම්බන්ධව ස්තුතියි Thank you very much uh, for the opening remarks, Madam. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, let me invite Dr. B.J.C. Pereira, representing all the past presidents of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, to address the gathering. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Madam President, uh, Vice President, past presidents, and members of the council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association and all members of the Sri Lanka Medical Association joining us online ladies and gentlemen madam president i'm particularly thankful to you for asking me to talk to you talk to this august gathering about the contributions from individuals for this covid sahana fund ladies and gentlemen it was the 35th president of the united states of america the iconic john fitzgerald kennedy who in his inaugural address on the 20th of january 1961 said ask not what your country can do for you ask what you can do for your country at the sri lanka medical association 
the oldest medical professional organization in Asia and Australasia. In its 134 years of existence, we have followed this advice from John Fitzgerald Kennedy studiously and very carefully. We have always tried to give back to this country what we as doctors have got from this country. We have always tried to give back. And COVID Sahana initiative is just one of those things that where we felt that there was a need and uh, a real need to try and do our little bit for our country. The COVID Sahana Fund, as you have already heard, was initiated uh, not very long ago and it became operational in May 2021. Now, at the outset, the ball was uh, set rolling by the president and the vice president of our organization uh, as individuals who made significant contributions to the fund, followed by all these people uh, who were uh, either council members or past presidents of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. Uh, there are quite a number more of these people, uh, but I don't have the photographs or even the names, and some have opted to remain anonymous uh, in this endeavor. And for them, for whom I cannot really pay a decent tribute. This slide is the tribute. The word philanthropy literally means the love of humanity. And in this country, which is the home to three of the greatest religions of the world, love is a sacred word. And their donations to the Sahana Fund is a manifestation of their love for humanity. Philanthropy and altruism means you have someone with money on one hand and a heart denoting love with the other hand. And Madam President, you said that uh, big or small, we welcome all contributions. And our contention as far as individuals uh, is that it's the little drops of water that make up a great ocean. So everything counts and the individuals, I'm sure, are uh, uh, very pleased and honored to contribute to the COVID Sahana Fund. And from a personal perspective, uh, the immediate and the extended family of late Dr. Sarojini Pereira were pleased to make a contribution on behalf of the, uh, the lady who left us forever on the 6th of December, 2019. We know for sure that if she was around, this is exactly what she would have wanted us to do. So this is a tribute and uh, a gesture of goodwill from the family of late Dr. Sarojini Pereira. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now, this is all about individual contributions. We know that large amounts have been donated by the corporate sector, especially towards this fund. But as I said before, everything counts in an endeavor of this nature. So on behalf of all the individuals who have contributed in a big or small way, that this is our tribute uh, to the efforts of the Sri Lanka Medical Association and its Sahana Fund. Uh, towards the welfare of our own people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your inspiring words. And now I invite uh, Ms. Kasturi Chelraja Wilson, the president of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Pharmaceutical Industry, to address the gathering. Over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, president of SLMA, Vice President and distinguished past, past presidents, council members, and uh, guests who are here. Um, so, firstly, I must actually, I was touched and applaud, I must applaud the SLMA for while you all serve and 
take care of patients. You all are having the heart to actually lead and set up a fund which is going to impact our country. At this point, I guess you all are doing your part to reduce the inequality, which what we all have to do because um, as SLCPI, we were doing, trying to do our part in our way to give access to medicine, but we really didn't see the inequality of and the access of quality uh, treatment in, in the periphery hospitals where, whereby people were not getting the treatment they deserve. And when Dr. Manilka called, I realized that you all were leading it. So we, there was a huge element of trust that you all are going to get the funds and buy stuff which is going to impact patients. So that was a simple thing. And you all don't understand, as SLMA, you all may not understand the impact we have when we see people like you all doing it. We know it's done for the right reason and it's going to impact the people of Sri Lanka. And end of the day, we may be SLCPI, you all may be SLMA, we are all Sri Lankans and, and that's what we are here to do. So on behalf of SLCPI, it's absolutely a privilege to be part of this journey. And I, I don't think it's going to stop here. Your Sahana Fund is going to go forward because uh, whether we like it or not, our people need help from all of us. So whatever you need and wherever we can impact, we are there. So I won't take any more time and thank you on behalf of SLCPI for leading this change. Thank you, Ms. Shedaraja. Uh, it's my pleasure to invite the president of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices in Industry, Mr. S. Prabhu, to address this distinguished gathering. Thank you, uh, Madam President, Vice President Dr. Malika, uh, Council members of SLMA, distinguished uh, past presidents of SLMA, Chief guest today, Dr. Sridharan from Ministry of Health, Ms. Kasturi from SLCPI, and distinguished guest. So from the Chamber of Medical Devices Industry, we are thankful to SLM for giving the opportunity to be part of your Sahana Nivarnam project. And every year we do CSR projects, and this year it was easy for us to join with SLM to identify uh, a noteworthy project to be part of it. The Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices industry consists of all the importers of equipments and devices. And uh, we are committed to give you all the best products and with the best prices and also give priority for your project. So please do get in touch and we'll be happy to be part of your project. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prabhu. Uh, next on the agenda uh, is the address by Mr. Palita Jayatilaka, the country operations manager of Servia International Sri Lanka. Over to you, Mr. Jayatilaka. Thank you very much, Madam President, Dr. Padmagunaratna, Vice President, Dr. Manika, Dr. Director, Deputy Director of Health, Dr. Sridharan, distinguished doctors, past presidents, and well wishers. On behalf of Servia International, it gives me a lot of pleasure to speak a few words and I thank SLMA for this opportunity. First and foremost, I would like to thank SLMA for the leadership role they have taken in the fight against COVID, not only through the contributions to the hospitals, but we saw on TV how the SLMA led in directing powers that be on how best to manage the, manage the disease. I also advise the public on the gravity of the situation. So first, thank you very much for that. Uh, when Dr. Mahilka approached us about six weeks back, actually that was the time when Serbia, we are not a huge company in Sri Lanka, but we were also looking for a credible organization to work with, because we know very many people collect funds, but it doesn't go to the right place. And when uh, Dr. Mahilka spoke about SLMA, we were very happy, uh, because we knew it's a credible organization to work with. And today when Dr. Padmakunath spoke, how they had organized the stuff, it's, it is definitely proven that the money is used for the best places. So at, that, at the launch meeting also, uh, at Serbia, we, whilst we made a contribution, we also committed to you that we are there in the long run. And let me assure you that they are in the future as well to support the SLMA. At the launch meeting, uh, through Zoom, some of our staff members were participating and I was very touched. Immediately after the meeting, they were spontaneously saying, 
that they individually would like to make some contributions. So today we have our contribution, which we like to present to the CLMA. And well, before I do that, I just have to say something that big contributions are very important. Similarly, if small contributions from many people come together, that will be a big pool uh, to the fund in helping the CLMA to help doctors and hospitals to treat patients better. So I hope this small gesture done by our service sales team, our, our service staff, might lead the way for all companies to think of and all corporates think of small contributions from each one can make a big contribution in the other day. So with this was thank you very much and I wish the CLMA all the very best and be assured of our continued support to the CLMA. Thank you, Mr. Jayathilaka. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to refresh our minds with a beautiful song. Mang Ad Jeeva Twani Oba Ehema Kalanisa. Co-produced by Hiran Tenwara of Sixth Lane Studios and Dr. Jeeva Ranga Kunasekara. This was a collaborative creation of the Health Promotion Bureau of the Ministry of Health and the World Health Organization Country Office for Sri Lanka. Let's watch the video. Nagin, apa yang mutakal lagi lem? Kau hebat ni deh. Masa kita pas segitu ni, ni anda dua tu belah lagi ni no. Hei, ini dah dah wah suna curfew. Yang gila mana baru dia kerangi mo. Nata mana tu nak? Yang. Nagin. Orang mana si pada ini? Engkau pot dari dina. Kau nak ingin lagi? Ani? Oh, apa yang keras ni? Apa yang doktor kena faham tu? Mangga terjibat benne, oba eh makalani sa. Magi amita ti magi pute duve magi.
yokeka me rapa umbata hadapu tokeka ala obudupa wata kada yanna tuwa inna ewanna da harima link eka wenna da kapa kirima ungi jeevitha e daadiya mahansiya rakine obe pana waga kim sahagata uno taniwama denna puluwam bota ratata ma sahanaya daruwa ge hinawa amma tatta ge hinawa amma ಉಬೆ <laughs> At home to protect your beloved ones Mothers, fathers, daughters and sons Thank you, Thank you. for all your sacrifice <laughs> enjoyed the video ladies and gentlemen now we'll move on to the uh, handing over of medical equipment donated by various donors to hospital directors uh, today we have the following list of equipment to be uh, distributed we have high flow oxygen uh, delivery nasal cannula non rebreathing oxygen mask with reservoir bag viral filters adjustable venturi device infusion pumps pulse oximeters and also blood pressure apparatus let me now invite uh, dr sridharan deputy director general of health services planning of the ministry of health uh, and dr mrs padma gunaratna president of the slma on stage first we will hand over the equipment to the national institute of infectious diseases let me invite dr hasita atnayaka director of nid uh, to receive the equipment Okay, thank you. Uh, I think Dr. Hasita Tanayaka will speak a few words uh, today. I will invite you to speak a few words. Uh, uh, Dr. Sridharan, the Chief Guest and Madam President of SLMA, Distinguished Guests, for and on behalf of the national institute of infectious diseases i take this opportunity to extend our heartfelt gratitude to slma and all our donors who have come forward to help us with the much required medical equipment at this hour of need in the third wave uh, for this would definitely improve the quality of care of our treatment centers in sri lanka i thank you and thanks a lot
Thank you, Dr. Tanaka. I am um, Dr. Sindhu Padiraja, Director. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Prabhat Vedavatta, Director of the Teaching Hospital Kuliapitiya, to receive uh, the donations. And I would like to call upon uh, Dr. Uh, Lucian Jayasurya, a senior medical administrator in the Ministry of Health and the past president of the Sri Lanka Medical Association to join the occasion. And thank you. And I would like to invite Dr. Prabhat Veravatta to speak a few words. Dr. Sridharan, uh, 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 Deputy Director General Planning, uh, Madam President, uh, past presidents, and the, all the office bearers of the SLMA. And on behalf of uh, Teaching Hospital Kulia Pitya, I would like to express our uh, deepest gratitude uh, for this gesture and uh, in our of hour of need we have been looking after many COVID patients we have seen a uh, few sad stories but on the whole we have seen more success stories and uh, which we had uh, immense joy at uh, uh, when the patients leave actually uh, following the treatment and uh, this equipment would uh, certainly help uh, to uh, create more success stories and more joyful uh, stories for our patients. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Veeravatta. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now we will listen to uh, Dr. Sindul Patraja. Director of Direct, uh, District General Hospital, Mana. He's online, I think. I am Dr. Sindhur Padiraja, Director, District General Hospital, Mana. I am very happy to receive the first round of donation of medical equipment from Sri Lanka Medical Association. This will improve the management of COVID-19 patient in the COVID unit of our hospital. DGH Manar is the tertiary care hospital in the Manar district and uh, covering the population of around 160,000. Since January 2021, we have detected 161 COVID-19 patients and the community and in the hospital totally 850 patients were detected and our COVID-19 unit is having COVID war and the ICU and the HDU set up also so as we have managing all COVID-19 symptomatic patients including ICU care, improving the uh, medical equipment availability inside the unit is very important. Presently, we are managing the units by redistributing the resources which is available within the hospital. And if we receive more and more medical equipment, we can improve the patient care services in the unit. We have encountered eight COVID-related deaths. Within that, the sixth, 
six cases are directly involved due to with the COVID pneumonia. So, as we are getting more cases currently, uh, improving the COVID unit is very much essential to uh, manage the cases uh, without uh, difficulties. So, once again, I like to extend my sincere thanks to Sri Lanka Medical Association for arranging the first round of donation to DGH Manor. And also further, I request them to provide further assistance in the future to improve the COVID-19 service in the Manar district. Thank you. Thank you. Let me now invite Dr. Janita Hetiarachi, Medical Superintendent of the Base Hospital Homagama to receive the donations. And also to join the occasion, I would like to invite Ms. Kasturi Chelaraja, President of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Pharmaceutical Industry. Thank you, Ms. Chilaraja. Thank you. Now I invite Dr. M. I. Shiraj, Medical Superintendent of the Base Hospital Vatu Pitivela, to receive the equipment. And also I invite Mr. S. Prabhu, the President of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices Industry, to join the occasion. Thank you, Mr. Prabhu. Uh, Dr. Pra Prageet, Medical Superintendent, Base Hospital, Kiribatpoda. Dr. Isuru. For Intermediate Care Center, Veralavatha and Politics Government, ICC. I think uh, in the absence of them, we will yeah, conclude uh, the handing over. Yeah. And Madam, uh, can you please wait? Because uh, Mr. Jayathilaka, Palitha Jayathilaka, the president of, uh, sorry. Uh, Country Operations Manager of Servia International Sri Lanka. Yeah, and also I inv invite Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka on stage. He will hand over a check to the Sri Lanka Medical Association. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the foremost objectives of the SLMA COVID Sahana Initiative is to provide financial assistance to children or families severely affected with COVID-19 long-term. The SLMA has found two children who need assistance to live their lives. 
Now I cordially invite Dr. Sumitra Tisera, the secretary to the SLMA, to give a brief description of those two children uh, to the audience. Over to you. Thank you. As Madam President told, we are one of the objectives of our COVID Sahan initiative was to find students who have lost their parents, either one or two, and provide financial assistance throughout their schooling career till they are about 18 years. So that has been done previously also through our different funds. So in that initiative, Madam wrote to the social services department and from that to the Samudhi department. Initially, they have found two students for us, but we, need, we want to increase more. And the thing is, initially, when how they have decided this, they have looked through all the deaths in the country up to now, and they have decided that in Colombo and Candy, we have seen more deaths. So because of that, they have selected two students, from one from Colombo and one from Kalutara. Yes, one student, uh, one from Colombo is a 15 year old girl. She's in grade 10. Uh, the mother has passed away due to COVID and the father is a manual laborer whose work has been affected due to the pandemic. As you know, when lockdowns happen, they don't have work. And she, he, she has an elder sister who is married and living separately. And the second sister is a university undergraduate. As you know, after grade 10, you need Zoom facilities and these days because you don't have school and all and you need tuition and all that. So uh, she cannot afford all that. So what we have decided is we will give her 3000 rupees per month till she finishes off schooling. What Madam initially thought was up to 12 years, we will give 2000 per month if the kids are less than 12 years and from 12 years upwards into 12, eight, till 18 years to provide 3000 per month till she finishes off school. So that will give her an initiative to stay in school also till at least she finishes school and does her A-levels. The second student is from Kaluttara, again a girl who also lost her mother. She's a grade 11 student. Uh, it's a father, he's a waiter. Again, you know, because the hotel industry is down, he doesn't have regular work also. And she has an elder sister who has just completed all level. Younger sister, grade two, and a younger brother, not even in school. So that family is even in a difficult situation than the first uh, child who is in Colombo. So she will also be provided with 3,000 rupees till she finishes off school. So these are the two students that we initially want to give today, starting from this month. And when the uh, Samudhi gives us the others, so we want to plan to give more than two students uh, the scholarships. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Dr. Tisera. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, next on the agenda is the address by our chief guest today. I would like to invite Dr. Sridharan, Deputy Director General, Planning of the Ministry of Health uh, to address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thanks, Dr. Uh, Dinesh. And uh, good evening to you all, Madam President, Vice President, Past Presidents, um, Sri Lanka Medical Association Council members and uh, members of the SLMA, Presidents of SLCCPI, SLCMDI, um, Senior Savi International, and um, Distinguished Guests and Hospital Directors. Um, Actually, I was in a ADB meeting because of the cluster system. We are moving towards cluster system. So we had a few challenges and I was discussing with uh, ADB and uh, consultants and uh, consultants in Manila uh, on a Zoom meeting. DGHS called at 1.15. Okay. You have a meeting with uh, SLMA president. Uh, can you attend? So I told uh, 
So can you give me the Zoom link? He told, no, 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 you have to go there. So I told, uh, I thought, uh, um, Madam President and few council members will be discussing with us, uh, with the ministry regarding the donations, uh, what we require, ministry requires. So I have a list, planning unit, I have a list of uh, laboratory services, what they need, uh, biomedical engineering, what they need, and uh, this labor, this uh, medical supplies. So I took those three papers with me. It's with me now. <laughs> And I came uh, uh, not knowing that uh, already these things are arranged. I am ignorant and that. So when I asked to go to the auditorium, they told me, I thought it's a boardroom. So they asked to go to auditorium. When I entered, I saw these nice packs and uh, this distinguished guest and uh, uh, Dr. Dinesh with his full suit and all. So I was shocked and uh, I asked, what is this? So then he told it as about this uh, Sahana. So I asked, what is this Sahana? Mm -hmm. Then um, I didn't have a, uh, if I'd have known, I would have had a prepared speech, uh, but I don't have prepared speech uh, like uh, Madam President or uh, Secretary. So what comes to my mind, I'm going to speak. That's also in a way good. We, we speak truth. Um, so when uh, I am coming to this SLM and this auditorium uh, after two years uh, during this COVID time, I didn't come, but uh, I'm, she told that uh, she has a great pressure of in, for, uh, for my, of my presence, but I must say that I must thank you for accepting me as the chief guest uh, because um, I have um, uh, soft corner towards uh, SLMA because um, in 2012, when I took over as the director of healthcare quality and safety, uh, I didn't have funds. I have with little funds, um, uh, I had to work. And uh, one of my first tasks was to uh, prepare a national policy on healthcare quality and safety. So the foundation was laid uh, down in this same auditorium. So I didn't have such a nice auditorium uh, as we have now, but I, I had to take this auditorium for the first meeting. And I was in a desert at that time, but um, SLMA at that time, I think um, 2012, 2013, Professor Vajra Visanayaka was the president and then uh, Dr. B. J. C. Perra took over, both of them helped. And I was in the uh, council also. So I must thank SLMA, that's what, uh, even though I have a meeting with uh, WHO now because a uh, high level preparatory meeting is coming up. So I handed over to my director international health and came uh, because of the SLMA, the, 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 what SLMA has given to us because SLMA always uh, help, not only now, even uh, past years when we had such situation during tsunami and uh, during this war time and to me. So I must thank, uh, SLMA and creating this SLMA Sahana Fund. So I understand that um, uh, financial assistance you are giving to this uh, uh, underprivileged population to scholarships, especially this uh, with regard to education. Uh, last uh, week, I think uh, I had um, to visit the estate and uh, those students were going to school. Now the schools are closed, but um, even though uh, the schools are closed. They have some problem with this, uh, this uh, virtual classes because uh, they don't have money to buy tabs. Even though give money, if we give some assistance to purchase tabs for each family, please consider uh, on that also. I request well wishes and donors to concern to not only helping health sector. Uh, the people who are affected by this COVID-19 also, especially these children. Otherwise, uh, after another 15, 20 years, uh, we'll be losing our intellectuals. So uh, what I understand uh, from the Madam President's speech, staff welfare is taken into account and I must thank uh, uh, SLMA on this and also 
uh, helping curative and preventive care in this uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So I understand that uh, now at the first phase, uh, 6 million was collected and uh, helping for 54 hospitals. That means uh, I can uh, reduce 6 million from my capital expense budget. So this is the first phase. So we can meet furthermore in uh, future. Also, um, I must um, convey uh, the best regards from the Director General of Health, Health Services because uh, he had to meet uh, the trade union with the Honorable Minister and um, the hospital directors. Please uh, make sure that uh, these donations are used uh, properly to their maximum capacity because uh, these funds are from uh, donors and well wishers from their uh, hard earned money. So make sure that uh, just not lying that one and uh, you utilize from today, tomorrow itself, today or tomorrow itself, and uh, you have to inventorize in your hospital donation also. And you please inventorize and please inform um, the relevant uh, units in the ministry also. So they, they know that uh, you, will, you, you got these donations. Otherwise, you will be having some problem out a few years. You might get some audit queries with regard to this uh, these uh, donations because uh, yesterday uh, Hardware Merchants Association, Ceylon Hardware Merchants Association uh, donated a PCR machine. So same procedure uh, we carried out because it was inventory in the lab service and it was sent to Andalbara Hospital. So we purchased the Hardware Merchants Association purchased from Mr. Prabhu who is here. So I must thank again, uh, finally, SLMA. And thank you very much. And uh, thank you all. Thank you very much, sir, for your kind words and accepting the invitation at, uh, in a very short notice. Thank you very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we conclude this simple ceremony today, to propose a vote of thanks, I would like to call upon Dr. Manilka Sumanatilaka, the Vice President of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. Over to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's my pleasure to do the honors at the end of a very simple, but I think a very important and impressive uh, ceremony done by the uh, Sri Lanka Medical Association. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. S. Sridharan, uh, Deputy Director General of Supplies from the Ministry of Health, Sri Lanka, representing Dr. Asela Gunawadana, Deputy Director, Gen uh, Director General of uh, Health Services at sh such short notice, and the regard he had for uh, SLMA. Thank you very much uh, for your uh, presence today and uh, being with us uh, for nearly you know, one and a half hours. Then my uh, special thanks goes to all the generous donors who have made this a reality today. In a uh, uh, matter of, uh, we were able to raise these funds in a matter of a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. And then the rest of the time was uh, on sorting them out in a proper manner. So in that term, uh, Ms. Kasturi Telaraja Wilson, President of the Sri Lanka Chamber of uh, Pharmaceutical Industries, a very big thank you for you and for your organization. Please convey our regards and the best wishes for the generous contribution made. And again to Mr. S. Prabhu, President of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices for their support and their contribution and of course, helping us to get the best possible rates in the country and choosing the best quality products in a short, such a short period and uh, making sure that it's uh, delivered on time as well. Thank you very much. And to Mr. Palita Jayatilaka, uh, Chief uh, Operating Manager, Servia International, for his generosity and for his staff for that kind gesture of 
propagating this fund further. And I hope the others will take a leaf from their action and then continue the same. And a, a special word of thanks to Mr. Mr. Dinesh Atapattu, Chief Operating Officer of Morrison PLC, who also came forward to uh, donate at the beginning at our invitation. I would like to thank all our donors, as Madam said, big and small, everybody, colleagues, family, friends here and abroad. I think they are watching online today, uh, quite a number. A very big thank you uh, for your kind donation. And I hope you have seen and we will make sure that your money is well spent and will be able to save few lives or make the lives of our people affected by COVID a little better. And definitely it will be, these are all life-saving equipment that uh, we have contributed. And all the directors of the hospitals, we are very thankful to them, despite their uh, busy schedules and being here today as a symbolic gesture to accept our donations. And uh, I'm sure you will make uh, uh, make use of the equipment and get the best out of them. And as the your director told, I think we have requested for the inventory inventorized letters to be collected to show our donor. So that's our plan. We will get in touch with you in due course. Thank you very much for your uh, presence here today. All this wouldn't have happened without the wonderful SLMA team, the COVID Sahana group that we created under uh, Madam Gunaratna's uh, leadership. That is Dr. Uh, a special word of thanks, uh, she's not here today, to Dr. Kalyani uh, Guruge, he's a, a pediatrician, and Dr. Tilina Vanigasekar from the ministry who did what we planned. The actual, uh, the in-house management was done by them, collecting all the lists and then to choosing the equipment and deciding on the numbers, calling the directors back and confirming the need. All that was done by uh, these two ladies. And of course, a, a very big thank you to our pre-intern, uh, Dr. Sachin Kolambage, who's with his IT skills and uh, planning, and he did a wonderful job in coordinating all the seniors and uh, putting things in perspective and creating the necessary list and doing the purchasing, all that. And of course, to our versatile secretary, Dr. Sumitra Tisera, for again uh, doing the coordination and uh, the correspondence with the uh, different companies and making sure that uh, things are moving on target. And to our uh, treasurer, SLMA, Dr. Aselo Lupeliava, who was handling the, the donations, acknowledgements, and the payments in a very uh, effective and a, uh, a very effective manner. A very big thank you for our senior uh, members and the past presidents, Dr. BJC Pereira, Dr. Uh, Lucian Jayasurya, Dr. Sarat Gamin de Silva, Dr. Fernando, and all others for their guidance and the encouragement uh, that we got from them uh, in doing the functions of the SLMA. And of course, the other staff in the SLMA. Jairani, Nadisha, Nidmala, Nadira, Vihanga, Samataratna, Justin, and Raja. All worked as a team to put together all these things wrapped and sorted out and uh, done the needful. Thank you very much for all at SLMA for your wonderful work and, and making this a success today. And a special word of uh, thanks to our compere today, Dr. Dinesh Koggalage. Uh, for a job well done. And before I conclude, not last but not least, our very versatile, committed, and I don't have words to explain her commitment, our president, Madam Padma Gunaratna, a very big thank you for your initiative and the guidance and being a source of strength being, I think you are 100% committed to the cause because we are so busy with our other work, but you have been guiding us to do our best for the organization. So thank you very much for that uh, 
the initiative you have and the energy that you are having to manage all these things and for the commitment. Thank you very much, everybody. And a very big thank you for all of you who came here today and especially to our media organizations also for being here and giving us the necessary exposure to propagate this fund uh, for to do more in future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sumanati Lakar. Ladies and gentlemen, with uh, that, we conclude this simple ceremony today. And uh, the president and the council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association wish to invite all well-wishers to join their hands with SLMA to serve the Sri Lankan nation. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening.